I'm Lawrence James Lucas, and my work, uh, my passion, my purpose, has been about the evolution of uh, human consciousness. The areas that I uh, explore um, experientially uh, were primarily uh, sh are primarily shamanism, uh, astrology, psychology, sociology, um, the, the human energy field, and the connection with the individual and the environment. The, the greater environment, the environment of consciousness that we live in. And it's the structures that um, really have formed a big part of the, the basis of my work, um, which I call the Enchantment of Life. Well, perhaps I should explain first why I called it the Enchantment. The, the term enchantment is um, a term that attempts to describe the soul's perspective on our life that we live in, in an enchantment of one form or another. You could call it a hypnotic information trance. Our experience is, is one type of enchantment or another. Um, and so we have a very unique and individual enchantment based on our, our choices, our choices of uh, who we relate to, who, what, what we interact with, what we absorb, what we ingest, whether that's information, environments, uh, spaces, anything that we do, um, creates a, a unique personal enchantment that we're, in a way, we're existing within, we're existing within our world. But <clears throat> as well as our own very unique enchantment, we're also um, existing within collective patterns, a collective structure, which is the enchantments of life, which is a, based on a developmental um, view of life, the, the human, indivi the individual, and the whole species actually goes through stages of developmental progression. And that progression is one of increasing complexity. And by complexity, I mean <coughs> uh, complexity just means that there's more working parts within the whole, within the whole of our experience. So the, the enchantments of okay. life. The, the different levels are labelled with planets, and that's not just an arbitrary labelling. It's based on the holographic principles. This is through the study of astrology, which the, the essential core truth of that is as above, so below, which is this pretty, it's the same uh, thing as saying that we live in a holographic universe. And so the solar system, the planets, the different orbits, are uh, representative on, on, on the holographic energy field as the different stages of development and levels mm -hmm. of development. So the enchantments of life has emerged over a long period of time you know, within my own uh, journey, within my own understanding. Of course, there's many uh, external influences as well as my own experience of working with uh, the shamanic connection with the environment. And with people in their energy fields, as well as um, astrological research, and working with people shamanically in their energy fields, one becomes aware of certain structures. I start to become aware of structures, and then these these had a correspondence with in the astrological research. I started to recognise that there are that the planets describe levels. Is there is a general agreement that there is, um, through empirical testing, empirical experimentation with individuals, that there is structure for development within the individual. And there's a fairly common agreement amongst many different researchers of the nature of those levels. And this work really started to emerge very strongly in the 1950s and probably most familiar with Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy of needs <coughs> and that is a developmental model that, it, that model is a very good introduction to developmental theory most people can understand that we have to have one need met before we have another need that arises within us and so that's a progression 
it, it leads to uh, an expansion of our, of our experience. And this is the progression or the evolution of consciousness, which is to do with the expansion of our experience or a move towards more complexity. And that move towards more complexity includes a, an affinity with more of life. Um, we, we have to get a sense of uh, membership um, with more people, larger scales of community. In a way, we could say that, that more people or more of life becomes worthy of moral consideration. It's like an increasing embrace of life within our own individuality. We still, we still have our self-interest uh, and our self-interest becomes in a way more refined, perhaps, more, you know, more complex. Ultimately, the kind of big breakthrough with, with uh, shamanism for me was an awareness that we live inside the earth and everything uh, is part of the earth. So there was a crisis before this where I became very connected to nature uh, instinct and felt very disconnected, extremely disconnected from the modern world. There's this conflict between uh, uh, one part of me and another part of me, mm -hmm. and obviously a conflict with relating to other people as well. And it's from that that I had a breakthrough, which is an awareness that actually nature in its higher form, uh, supra-nature, is all-encompassing. It includes, you know, and the easiest way to understand this is to understand the earth uh, as an energy field. So instead of living, you know, living on the surface of the earth, we're living in, inside this, this energy field, um, which is the totality of all human endeavor, all human interest. Uh, and so if I wanted to understand that. I had to consider every area of human uh, research, every area of human activity, um, and as many perspectives and perceptions as I as I could. Um, <clears throat> but it, as I say, that was this prerogative was still one of uh, what excited me. So it was an exciting. It's a building excitement of, of, of awareness that, we're, that everything is part of a, of a, of a totality of, of this planet. What's quite wonderful is that um, looking at the, the, the general sense of the emergence of each new level of, of human evolution, it corresponds with the discovery uh, of a new planet. I first noticed this most startlingly in, again, it was about the year 2000, uh, there was a magazine called in, in What is Enlightenment? And they had an article by Don Beck of Spiral Dynamics. And there was this article uh, on Spiral Dynamics and, and it was showing the emergence of, of these levels, the different levels, and they corresponded pretty closely, but, you know, far more than, than say, just a mere uh, coincidence with the discovery of planets and this obviously links in with a lot of research that, I, uh, that I've done which was looking at how as a planet discovered there would be uh, new artifacts would appear, new, new human behaviour would, would, would emerge um, and, and followed each of these planetary themes like a, like a thread in a tapestry develops over time in human society. So the planets are obviously, um, we would presume, uh, been there all along, but it's, it's the synchronous uh, <clears throat> moment that uh, a member of the human species has discovered the planet is, we can say, not necessarily causal, but symbolic at least, of, uh, of our awakening to a new level. Um, or perhaps not symbolic, it would be better to say it's systemic. It's a systemic uh, effect of an emergence of a, of a new level of awareness uh, within the species. <clears throat> so the enchantments of life, um, <clears throat> I think, is a very uh,
powerful tool for any individual who um, has perhaps done a certain amount of inquiry and a journey and, they, and, they, and is looking to understand <clears throat> more of the big picture. But I would say the main um, utility of the Enchantments of Light is that it, it gives more meaning in as much for the individual as much as we can see how our, in, our own lives are interconnected uh, with not only the greater environment but uh, the evolution itself, the evolution of consciousness. So it gives us personal meaning because we're part of something. We're part of uh, Project Earth, if you like. You know, we're, we're part of this uh, continuing story and we're, <clears throat> we're not just observers, we're, we're all, in our own little way, actually helping to um, co-create it. So it feeds back to give you know, more personal meaning to, to one's life.